wrong side or? No, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Ready? So, we're, we're, okay. Okay. So, um, Are you recording? Yeah, we're recording, yeah. yeah. Okay, one, two, three. Welcome, Welcome to, to the Pew! <laughs> the Nocturnal Emission. Yeah. Live from Bushwick. Live with from some the House of Yes and graffiti and the Graffiti really, everywhere. Really questionable Except on my face. <laughs> that That's next week's look. <laughs> So, so what have you been up to? <laughs> oh, I've been, uh, well, I released my song, Walk Into the Club, uh, which Drusilla worked on arduously through many edits and changes. It came, I, out, it came out good. Yeah, it came out good. I was really happy. I'm Thank you to everybody who watched it, and uh, I've gotten some good feedback. I have another song ready. Now we have to make another video, which um, I'm kind of dreading because the first one, although it was easy, I feel like we have to top that. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how we're going to top that. You know. um, well, let's see. We can get explosives. <laughs> um, we can get three giraffes. And how about this back this tractor trailer behind us? Well, yeah. Jump well, this off the bridge, blow it up, <laughs> and the giraffe's driving it. That would be perfect. A giraffe? Done. We got this figured out. All right. Okay, well, let's it'll be get... Done in, it'll be done in post. You know, we'll, get that, we'll get that on a storyboard, and then um, we'll, like, work out the fine details. Storyboards be damned. <laughs> No, actually, I found we ha actually had a storyboard for our, the walk into the club video, and I felt that it really helped us get it done really quickly because we actually shot it really fast. I mean, we literally shot it in one night. Oh, we did. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That, that, that is true. But this is this is your organized professional person, and this is Mr. Mr. Disorganized. So. <laughs> so it still came out. <laughs> thumbs up for storyboards. Absolutely. Um, Drew has been working all month like a bitch. Working my bussy. Out. Yeah. Working my bussy. And out. the most, and tell us about the most glamorous assignment that you had. So, um, a few weeks ago, we built the fashion show runway for, you say the name better than I do. The Italian designer Moschino. Moschino, yes. And Who's one of my favorites. 135 foot long runway right in the middle of Bryant Park in the middle of 20 hours of rain. So that was fun. Um, but it, it was a tremendous event. And it actually came off beautifully. You can see the photographs online from, from their fashion release. You'll see all the work that I've done, that I was working on. I had a whole crew of people there. It wasn't just myself. Cool. But this is what I'm doing now. I'm back doing live event production. So it's, uh, it's keeping me very busy to the point where my family, we see each other like on the way to the bathroom is at 3 o'clock in the morning when I come home and they're going to the bathroom. That's all I see in my family anymore. So. so the reason we're in Bushwick is because we're going to the House of Yes. Tonight, Glowjob is celebrating his birthday and I think they're having, the theme is intergalactic something or another, which you... There's a theme? Th yes. Uh, as you can tell, Drusilla oh, I'm did just not know. I'm just a hoe. I'm, I'm just a hoe. Come on. That's a, you've seen my pictures lately. I'm serving intergalactic cyberpunk. Mm -hmm. And it looks phenomenal. So where did the helmet come from? Uh, you know, I've had this helmet for a couple of years. Tonight is the last night I'm wearing it. I'm throwing it out tomorrow. Uh, I'm moving, so I'm kind of slowly downsizing, and I'm wearing things for the last time and saying goodbye. That's true. That's true. So, uh, so this is one of them. Um, what about last week? We should talk about, since, we, since there's going to be an official episode from last week, we should talk about last week, and I'll post some footage in on the tail end, because we were at one hell of an epic party. Oh, yeah, so that horse meat disco, that was fun. Absolutely massive. That was at Elsewhere, not too far from here. Exactly, exactly. Um, and for unusual, it ran until 5 o'clock in the morning. And where did I end up at 4 o'clock in the morning? Walking across the street with some other younger club kids and going to an all-night rave that went on until... We left at 7 o'clock in the morning, and it was still going wide open. So um, New York is alive and well, and the clubs are banging out there. Yeah, it's so refreshing, you know. Like, I mean, you've got the... I'm so tired of the COVID hysterics on one end who want everybody to wear masks and never go out and don't go to parties and don't congregate. And then you've got the anti-vaxxers who don't want to wear a mask and don't want to get vaccinated. And I'm just like sick of them all, and I just want to party. That's it. Same here. <laughs> and with that, we're going to walk on over to the house of yes and uh, walk through the door and go have some fun. All right. See you next time. See you soon. Mwah.